Corvette C6. Headlight restoration. It seems as though this has to be done every year. And I've checked out a lot of different videos. I'm just gonna show you my version. Okay, I'm gonna use this big two inch blue tape. And I'm gonna overlap. I'm gonna hit the uh, headlight lens and the fender. And then I'm gonna take these little scissors and I'm gonna trim this tape back off of the headlight lens where I want it because I don't want the sanding water to get all over the rubber molding because it's when it dries it's hard to get off and then of course I want to protect the uh, the paint okay I've got the tape where it needs to be to protect the molding around the headlight lens. Now the first thing I'm going to do is wet sand it with 200 grit and then probably do 400 and then maybe a thousand and get it as good as I can. I'm not going to spend all day on it and then I'll shoot another coat of clear coat on it which is a little bit more work because I don't want overspray getting all over the car, so that means a lot more prep. Okay. Well, I found some 220. Probably gonna need some more. But I got sandpaper. Because <laughs> I have to do this every year. But 220 is a good place to start. There's some 320, but believe me, that clear coat does not want to come off that easy, so 220 will work. It's just like painting. Okay, I've been sanding it for about 10 minutes. My knuckles are starting to hurt. But I can tell it's going to take a lot more. And you can feel it in the sandpaper. As it starts to smooth out, you can feel it. Yeah, and when I look at it, it still looks like crap. But, I tried last year to get it perfect. Nah. I think that's not really necessary. Okay, I'm gonna wipe this off and let it dry and then we'll come back and take a look at it because I know I'm going to have to do this <sighs> probably at least an hour just on this one so what to do is you pour yourself a drink put on some music and if you live in a state where it's legal <laughs> well I don't so I'm not going to tell you what that means okay that's the first sanding Compare it to the other one. Of course, it's hard to see in this light. But I get the. Yeah, see, now you can see how messed up it is. And you can really see it when the headlights are on. So, I don't know how far I'm going to get. But we'll try it again. I'm thinking I might have to do it at least three times. Okay, don't be afraid to sand it too much. My experience is this is harder than repainting the fender. You can sand this stuff. Now the factory puts a clear coat on, so I put a clear coat on and I don't really know how necessary it is but I think it helps protect 
the lens from damage from debris. And you can see down here, there's a lot of stuff coming off. A lot of stuff coming off. So we're gonna wipe this off and let it dry and then we'll take another look. But my hand's already tired. Okay, I got a new or a new piece of 220, because you can tell by feeling it. It doesn't feel as aggressive. I mean, the other one doesn't feel as aggressive as the new one. And, uh, now you can't be too aggressive. But I priced replacing these lenses. That's a $900 deal. Oof. That's amazing. Uh, you gotta take the whole headlight out. You gotta put it in the oven at 220 degrees to soften the, the glue. And then you gotta pop it in there. Uh, mm -mm. Hope I never have to do that. Okay, I know when you're sanding, you're gonna think, wow, this isn't doing anything, but look. This is stuff that's coming off. And that's what you want. And then after you dry it, you can rub your hand over it and feel it. It feels smooth. But it still looks bad. But <laughs> then I go take a look at the other one and it does not feel smooth and it looks worse. So when I get finished with the 220, I'm gonna scoot on up to 800 grit. Then I'll come back and show you. Oops, okay. Okay. You never use the same tape. I hit it a couple times with uh, 800 grit. And I can feel it, it feels really good. But if you look at it, you see right here, and right here, and right here. That's where I've gone all the way through the clear coat and down to the plastic. But this other stuff out here, that's still clear coat. But when I spray it with more clear coat, this will all disappear. So I'm going to finish this one. And then I'll show you the difference between this one and the one on the other side of the car. Hmm. Glad this is only once a year. Okay, now I have to tape that again. And I'm gonna put paper all right here and then I'm covering the rest of the car with old sheets and whatnot because you don't want any overspray. Now if I get some on the windshield, well, I'm gonna get another sheet. Cover the windshield and the top. Cause man, when that stuff dries, you just can't, you just can't get it off, so. I'll show you. Okay. <laughs> the prep work is, uh, that's amazing. But normally I would do both lights at the same time, but I really want to see the difference. So I'm getting ready to shoot clear coat on this one. And then we'll see. Then I got to do it all over again for the other side. Hmm. I might do that tomorrow. I don't know. But if you look close, you can still see the imperfections. But, gotta wipe it down real good. My hands are dry because I've been wet sanding. You don't want any fingerprints or oil on here. Okay, let's shoot. Okay, I'm using uh, Rust-Oleum 
clear glass. Just follow the instructions. And it's always scary because we're always tempted to put too much on and then we get runs, but don't do that. And if it doesn't look good after it cures, I might have to sand it again, but I'm gonna try not okay, to. three light coats. It hasn't cured yet, but I wanna show you something. If I get up real close, you see all those little imperfections are gone. Now I might have got it a little too thick right here. I got a little run, but you know, I'm not going to worry about that till next year. Nobody will even notice it if I don't show it to them. Now, look at the other one. <laughs> so, it's not like off the showroom floor. But I'm going to let this cure for a little bit. Then I'll probably hit it again with another coat because I still see a little not so glossy area there. So, ah, uh, okay. You get the idea. I'm not going to take you through all of this. But, it's definitely going to be better and I'll be happy with it. And uh, then I can start doing the rest of the car. Ooh wee. Buff it, wax it, detail it, get all the molding. I do that once a year because it's going with me to Colorado and it's going to be outside for six months. Well, you see, you can see the difference already. But you have to remember, you're never going to be really happy with your spray. But after it cures for 48 hours, I still have to buff the whole car out. So at that time, I'm going to hit it with... Uh, rubbing compound and wax it and that will even make it look better but yeah holy smokes you can really see the difference hey well thank you for watching uh, I got doing this video and everything I, I have maybe an hour and a half in this and if I was to just do them both at the same time, I might have two hours in it. It's well worth it. You don't need to take it downtown and then they're gonna get stuff in here that you don't want and won't be able to get it out, so. Of course, if you drive a Corvette, you're probably retired and you can understand why I don't mind doing this but yeah I got it jacked up too because I man I take the wheels off and then I clean inside the wheel wells I do everything I still got a lot to do but I gotta get these headlights done first all right uh hey this is Santa Claus showing you how he takes care of his sleigh <laughs> God bless you guys.